1,030 naira per litre. NLC demands reversal as fuel queues resurface right here in the punch. In the trust, NLC demands petrol price hike reversal. In the Vanguard, anger as petrol price goes up third time in two months. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Now, 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 we are gradually getting very close to the limit. Uh, by the way, I didn't buy fuel for 1,030 yesterday. I think I bought it for 1,110 or so. Um, and because, of course, you had queues. So you had to look for where the queues were not much and you pay a premium for it. Which also meant that um, when I bought 40,000 naira fuel yesterday, it was just slightly because my, my light was on, so it was just slightly over half tank in my car. Which is not the Highlander, I mean, so it's not as if it's some big car. So it's not looking good. No let's waste time with the background. All of us know the background, how we got here. Um, which is part of the story that is um, here. But just to say that um, uh, the, the new price now is 1030 officially, if you are ready to queue for two, three hours and waste your time. And so the question now is, so what happens next? Mm. And I'm going to say for now, almost nothing. Um, I see the story here. It says that uh, NLC kicked and um, organized private sector kicked. That has been factored in. They know you will kick, you will huff and puff, and you will not blow the house down. The NLC, in a statement signed by Ajero, described the decision as an aberration. He says that even following the logic of market forces, we find it an aberration that a private company, NMPC, is the one fixing prices and projecting itself as a hegemonic monopoly. All this thing about NMPC being a private company is a lot of BS I don't subscribe to, to be honest with you. Whether it's 100% private or not, it is still under government supervision. And it is in that light that I find this story in the trust, in the trust that says that, oh, we are not responsible for Pedro hike, federal government. Are you saying that NMPC just decided in his boardroom without consultation, even with the Minister for Petroleum, knowing the implications? Uh, the, 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 the Minister for Information says that, that the decision is in response to prevailing circumstances in the energy industry, emphasizing that it was not acting on any instruction from the federal government. The federal government will not instruct it. NMPC will bring its its figures forward and um, the federal government will approve it. I, I'm not one who is going to believe that this is done without... So we will hold the government responsible. There's no doubt about that. We're going to hold them responsible. Ipman says that the new prices are not favorable to them. Uh, another, some tweets uh, also indicate here, it says it's unbearable. And, um, of course, small businesses will shut down. Mm. Your barbers, your hairdressers, your tomato grinders, name it. A lot of them are, are, are going to shut down com um, completely. Uh, and uh, so th one of the questions you'll be asking yourself is, so what was this whole huffing and puffing and the essence of the Dangote refinery if at the end of the day we'll be benchmarking um, uh, uh, the foreign input uh, uh, PMS price. Man, at the very least, just for common sense purposes, shipping is out, so many other things are out. Uh, so how do we, how, how come we are not benchmarking? I think that you need to cast your eyes on the on the so-called debt that is said is being owed uh, by NMPC. I think about how much was it now? Some, some billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that debt has to be paid. It has to be paid. And, and um, so, because Look at looking at it simply. I, I keep saying I'm not an economist, so don't go by it. I just want to set your mind thinking. If we have crude, like it's done, I think in Angola or so, you can't you give the crude to the refineries at a relatively subsidized price in, in, in Naira, and then use that as a determinant so that you can get low price for PMS. We must enjoy something. There's something called comparative advantage in anything that you do. It's like you own a restaurant and then you charge yourself a commercial price every time you have a meal. There must be comparative advantage. But anyway, 
there's a whole lot of discussions to go down. And I think I don't want to listen to any because rather, I would rather be wanting to listen to things to, that tell me that who is going to get us and how of the current mess we are in. Because a lot of people are messed up completely. A lot of people are messed up completely. Okay? The Vanguard reports and says anger as petrol price goes up the, for the third time in two months. For the third time in two months. And says price up by 15% to 1,030 in Abuja, 998 in Lagos. And uh, the marketers say we are seeing complete deregulation. Uh, another rider says latest increase regrettably ill timed. Untold hardship for workers' looms. Definitely. 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 Uh, and and um and it says that impact will be severe on businesses. Another rider will further erode citizens' purchasing power, NECA, and some analysts. And as Biffy, as Biffy is the bankers and insurance workers union says, Nigerians are being pushed to the wall. And Sheusani Baptist Conference here seek Tinubu's intervention. Why are we being so polite? You don't need Tinubu's intervention because he's probably the driving force behind this. Let's call a spade a spade. He's the Minister for Petroleum. Okay? So I don't think he's his intervention. I think we need... I don't know what... I don't know what we think maybe the National Assembly can do to provide a balance. And surely, you can't call on the Supreme Court. So... What do you do next? That is what should be on the mind of Nigerians. And he says that, the NLC says that they demand a reversal and say it's an aberration. Now they say the NLC, to my mind, is just a paper tiger. In fact, I, I believe, I'm not saying it as a fact, but I believe that, that they are complicit, in, the leadership is complicit in some of these things. Okay, so that's, that's what we have um, briefly, briefly here. And uh, the trust says that the, 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 the NLC demands petrol hike reversal. That's what they, 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 they lead with. Heaven help us all.